Hello everyone, welcome to Cell Arc Sunday. Today I will be playing Don't Starve! All's well that Maxwell, which is supposedly the name of the character at the bottom left here. Uh, as uh, some of you may have noticed, I'm actually using the Yeti microphone from now on. And I, I'm gonna try to make this change permanent. I actually ordered a Hogan's uh, something something device that I will actually possibly remove the reverb going on right now. But the reason I'm changing to this is because, uh... Duh. Because my, uh, headset, uh, sometimes it shuts off randomly, and while it's shut off, you guys can't hear me, and I can't hear the game's, uh, sounds. And that's really bothersome. While this Yeti mic microphone, it's never gonna shut off, which is a really good thing. The only, uh, curly is that it'll register other various sounds such as me using the mouse or touching the keyboard or using my controller, so that's gonna be awesome. Anyway, enough about me. Uh, this game, uh, I, I've i watched it once before through th another one's, uh, another Let's Player, but I pretty much forgot about everything about it. Anyway, oh wait, Wilson? That's his name? The gentleman scientist that will conquer it all with the power of my mind. Grows a magnificent beard. Huh. Well, Two other characters, but I think this one's a girl and this one's some kind of a guy with a mustache. Hmm. It's quite a lot of characters, actually. World. Ah, uh, I better leave everything to default. Let's just start. And I think it's creating the world now. Hmm. Maybe I should play Dwarf Fortress once. Actually, I did try to play Dwarf Fortress once. It takes quite a while to create its own world, but... I think it's because it was using it in my laptop then, so... It couldn't run it for some reason, even though the graphics are extremely simplistic. Say, pal, you don't look so good! You better find something to eat before night comes! So why am I here? Ah, I can't get the bird. Pick up seeds. Hmm. So, as the title of the game suggests, I think the entire goal is to not starve. I can eat the, I can eat the petals and the seeds. That I would think I would plant them instead. Um, this ground isn't proper. Besides, it only take like months for the seeds to turn into something edible. So I, I, I do kind of like the graphics of this game, or rather the presentation. It's The characters look a bit flat because it's a pan-drawn graphics, but it does have a nice appeal to it. Rabbit hole? Hmm. The kingdom of the bunny men? What? Oh, there's the rabbit. But I can't do anything to it. Plant. Yep. But he's gone. Hmm. Berry bush? I wonder if those berries are poisonous. Okay, so the, this right here, the 136, is I guess uh, how much food I uh, have in my stomach. And that. Uh, yep. It's progressively going lower and lower. Hmm, berries seem to be fine. Walk to Evergreen. So the controls of this game are pretty simplistic. Hmm. Okay, those rabbits, I'm pretty sure I can do something with them. A very sharp rock. Ah, oh, jeez. Can I look at the controls? You. Well, I'm trying to do an attack, but it's not letting me. I guess I have to put the fence. Hold on, I'm trying to. Quack. 
course, I already know about net hacks, so. Well, it's kind of cool. But it has to be rotated in a specific direction. Okay, so I guess it's just a way of saying things. The Kingdom of Bunnymen is just saying, oh, there's a bunny down there. So I can't equip this or anything. Stupid bunny. Well, I just ate some petals. That's no good. What do you mean, creepy? So I guess to attack, I'm gonna have to find a weapon that's not uh, just a proper a rock or something. Come on, I want to kill you. Plenty of rabbits here, actually. If only I had a weapon or a means to attack. Wait! Okay. So I can make weapons here. Science is this. Survival. Hmm. I can make it a light source. Wow. Suddenly turned uh, dark already. Just as, I, as soon as I made a light. No, I can't make a light. But I need a weapon. What do I need? Cut grass and twigs. Okay. Can I cut grass here? I can light the grass on fire. Let's try it. Uh. Oh goodness. Well, actually, that's kind of useful. What the hell? Oh, I guess I'm too close to the fire, I guess. But it's kind of useful to have light sources like that. Can I light... Oh, no, I can't light the rabbit hole on fire. <laughs> okay, this this game is kind of cool. I have to thank Doomsday, or Doom Day 83 for giving this game to me because I have, it's actually a commercial game. You have to pay for it, but apparently Doom Day, he got a second copy of the game for free on Steam. And he handed it to me. Well, of course it wouldn't fit in your pocket, uh, Wilson. You don't have a bag of holding or anything, do you? You're... Oh. Oh. I need sticks. Well, it's not that dark yet. Emphasis on yet. Okay, I've got 20 patches of grass, but no twigs. Where are the twigs? Ah, here we go. Or saplings, actually. Yes. You. No, those aren't twigs. They're... No, I guess I just used my two twigs. That's the thing. Okay, I think I do have a bag of folding or something. I mean, care. Thank you. And some berries. Thank you. So this game is pretty slow paced, but oh goodness, it's really dark now. Better light this berry bush on fire. Yes. I wonder what will happen if I put the evergreen on fire, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's a pretty, pretty big fire. Yeah, your light just ran out. Oh, cool. I can get a disdain, an axe. Yeah, it is so dark. And I think I'm going to die. Yeah, of course something hit you. And I think I'm going to die. So, it's not even don't starve. It's more like don't run out of the light sources. Well, I guess I'm going to retry.
survive zero days. I'm gonna try to survive at least one day. Forget eating! I need light sources! Because uh, as soon as it becomes so dark, uh... Uh, what's their names? Uh, I think a Zorks is what, what they're called. Basically, there was a game in a, a long time ago. Where if you went in a dark light source, something would suddenly attack you out of nowhere. Even though before that there was no enemies. I think there are Zorks. Not sure. I keep forgetting the names of some things when I play really bothersome. Like, I, I bet that I, as soon as I start watching this video in post-production, I'm gonna remember exactly what I meant to say. Wait, can I seriously all we to make a... Break down rocks? What the hell? Turkey? Oh, a gobbler. Well, I don't have any weapons, so... Chop down trees. Break down rocks. I want an axe. Well, I can pick up entire logs, really? That's kind of cool. And useful. Trying to chop this. What is it, too big? Also, I bet my axe isn't infinitely durable. Yeah, it says right here. 81%. Well, better collect what I can get anyway. Oh, the bush. This is a big tree. How much? I wonder how much it's gonna give me. Man, that gobbler sure isn't all that shy considering he's still hanging around me. A natural uh, gobbler would probably run away very far by now. Oh, seeds. Sapling. More saplings. What do I need to get a weapon? Wait, these are for defense. It says fight, but these are for defense. Hold on a moment, someone's calling. Alright, sorry for the interruption everyone. Sometimes the phone's gonna ring and I'm gonna have to stop everything and answer it. Anyway, let's continue. I kind of don't want to end up with the uh, dying once again during the night time. What do I need to create light sources again? Flint and grass? Yeah, grass. Plenty of grass here, thankfully. Finding all those bunnies last time wasn't that useful at all, simply because I couldn't do anything with them. Flint. Hot lane. Okay, what is science? New crafting recipes. Okay, that's uh, the tech tree. So I guess this is for survival, for making traps, while fighting is uh, pretty much... Hmm, I can make a log grass suit if I can get enough uh, grass around here. Uh oh, it's getting nighttime soon. My axe is 40% left of uh, usage. I guess it's 100 uses, specifically. Would be That would be very convenient. I imagine there's a way to repair it, possibly. Likely. Hmm. Aha! Can make survival. Yes, of course it's gonna get dark soon. That's why I'm stocking up on grass and junk. Ah, I can make myself a grass suit, but probably if I do make the grass suit, I'll lose up all of my uh, grass, which I should be using to make light sources. Hmm. I'm guessing the bunnies are all sleeping now. What the? Why is my intelligence going down? 
I guess I'm getting paranoid. That's what it is. Oh, carrots. Thanks. Well, maybe it's because I'm starving and... Wait, what the... I wonder who that skeleton is. Sweet! I wove it real tight. You didn't wove it at all, uh, Wilson. You picked it up from someone else's uh, dead, someone else's dead corpse. Hey, no, you're bloody. I don't know how you're carrying twelve logs, by the way, Wilson. It's kind of impossible. You can carry twelve logs, but you can't carry a huge boulder. Doesn't make much sense. Well, I better start making my light sources now. Portable light source provides light while burning. Hmm. Ah, campfire. That, that sounds much more useful. Um, better put it down here, I guess. Hopefully it won't burn everything. I think it uses 10 grass patches. Okay, I think that'll be fine. Okay, uh, we got something for protection. How long is this? Yeah, it is getting a bit low. Hmm. What the hell? Hopefully nothing will attack me. Hmm. Okay, it says right here how uh, my, much my torch is. That's a good thing too. So, the night seems to happen really short, thankfully. Like, it says right here that the... I think it's like roughly two minutes. Maybe one minute. The night is the shortest time of the day. Well. Yeah. Words. So yeah, as you can see, as long as I have a light source, nothing will randomly attack me. I guess that sort of makes sense, in a way. Okay, I better unequip this. So, campfire seems to last just uh, as long as the night lasts, which seems really useful. Just staying safe. Night's almost over. Ha happens almost as fast as Ocarina of Time's night. In Ocarina of Time, the day lasts a lot longer than the night, provided uh, assuming the time is passing at all. I better start eating, actually. Berries fill me up a lot. Hmm. And we survived one day! Yay! Don't need this anymore. Wait. Yeah, I want axe. So, I'm gonna continue playing because I have quite a lot of time now. Need more grass. I don't know what the goal of this game is, and I don't care. Because it's kind of fun to just explore this unexplored world. To see how long I can last. In a sense, this is a lot like a score attack game. Even though I'd probably place it closer to a roguelike Anything. What the hell? Jump in a wormhole? Yep! Let's try it. That was not a sane thing to do. Well, I did it anyway, just to see what happens. At least we didn't die instantly. Especially given that Tain had teats in it. And now there's a rabbit I can catch right there. I'm gonna put it for this one. I guess I have to put something in the bottom of it. Did I put five carrots? Why did I put five carrots? Well, I guess it might work. 
I'll just pick the carrots back up if uh, nothing happens anyway. Or maybe that rabbit down there will get them. Seems to be. Yeah, it's slowly moving up to the carrots. Come on, bunny. I'm gonna eat your corpse today. Not that hungry, but oh, there's the other bunny too. Come on. Yeah, they're just moving slowly towards the carrot. Ha! Gotcha. Murder? Sure, why not? Yep! Wow, that didn't fill me up as much as I expected. I guess it would be kind of broken if it filled me up like one quarter of my food thing. Anyway, learning new things. Hmm, red mushroom. Poisonous, maybe? Red cat. I do wonder if uh, there's like poisonous stuff in this game. If, in uh, Speaking of which, I brought this up earlier. In NetHack, if you eat something that uh, you left uh, hanging for too long on the ground, it becomes poisonous and uh, you can actually die from uh, eating poisonous food. Or at least uh, throw up. Either way, but both very negative consequences. So I'm wondering if eating this red cap will actually poison me and kill me less than an hour after, unless I do something quickly. Speaking of which, that's something I wanted to bring up about this game, or this type of game. A lot of games these days, they give you lots of checkpoints because death is so prevalent uh, in how, because, you know, to make things challenging, you, you get killed very easily if you don't uh, play the game properly, quote-unquote. But games like this... Where death is is extremely likely to happen and dying completely forces you to restart from the beginning. It doesn't matter that it that death is uh, punishes you so hard because it's very fun to even start a new game from the be very beginning. Stupid bunny. I guess I should try to catch it. Maybe my trap's still working. Wait, the bunny ate all five of my carrots. Damn. That's no good. Do I have a carrot? I have a red cat. Oh yeah, I do have a carrot. There we go. I guess I'll start making another campfire. Mine cone. Um, where's my campfire? Did I just use up my campfire for no reason? I was trying to place it down here. Maybe I don't see it. Grass suit, axe, torch. Oh boy, I just used up my campfire. Well, I'll build my campfire just as night is approaching, so. Me time. Quit my axe. Blue mushroom? The blue mushroom is sleeping. Oh, I guess it's like one of those uh, mushrooms that only pop out at uh, on a during the day, something like that. Intelligence is still going down. I guess uh, anyone would grow insane being alone in this uh, type of environment. Come on, you stupid bunny. Uh, it's almost good. All right. I guess it's because it's night, the bunny doesn't want to come out. There we go. What are pine cones for, anyway? Well, time to build a campfire. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna make this uh, a three day thing. I think I'll be able to survive three days. I've got food, quote unquote. I'm waiting for that bunny to come out tomorrow. So yeah, fun game, but yeah, them birds are leaving. Hopefully no enemy will pop out out of nowhere. Better get a 
Just in case. Just in case something happens. Why can't I put it here? Oh, whatever. And my grass suit hasn't really seen much use anyway. What do I need to make science? I need a gold nugget? And some rocks. Uh, will flint do? But where will I find a gold nugget? How about this? Yeah, I can make some more traps if I want. I already got one. I've got plenty to do campfire, thankfully. Hmm. I guess this is to break down boulders. I better build it, actually. There we go. Wow, my... I don't want to put all logs. How do I pick one of uh, something? Can I pick one of something? Look at this. Yeah, but I don't want to put all 11 of my logs at once, you know? The night's almost over anyway. There. Dawn of the third day. And probably the final day. After this, I'll probably uh, finish off the video. Still enjoying this game a bit. Yeah, the fire's still up and lasting, and now it's done. I can pick up the ashes, though. What can I use the ashes for? In games like this, roguelikes, quote-unquote, usually everything has some use. Well, except maybe something. Like in net hack, and iron chains are kind of useless. Take that, nature. Okay, is that bunny gonna come out or not? Guess not. Oh goodness, I need to eat something. Pedals don't do anything. What about the red cap? Yep, I don't feel so good. So, red cap, not a good thing to eat. Give me those berries. Berries are good. Surprisingly enough. I know there are some poisonous berries. Should be anyway. And there's the wormhole that I went through. And this is the edge of the world, quote unquote. So I wonder what petals can be used for. Decorations? Armor, quote unquote? Why am I why can I eat petals of all things? Wait, picking up flowers increases my intelligence? That is weird. And what is this? Why can I attack it? Ugh, bees! Not the bees. And f the red too. I'm gonna have to censor that, if I remember. Alright, more berries. Flint. Does flint count as rocks? I guess not. And there's a rabbit that I can eat. Yeah, actually, I don't. Just put the trap here. Not. And bait. 
Yeah, and I've only put one, thankfully. So yeah, to get the rabbits, you don't have to go uh, up close to them. You just have to put a trap anywhere and they, they'll slowly go towards it, towards it. Their AI seems to be very simple, which is really fine. For roguelikes, you don't really want the, the AI to be super complicated or things. Yes. My intelligence looked out for, after eating that? I guess uh, eating something like that has a conscience to some of us uh, decreases our intelligence somewhat. Unless you're used to it. There's still no explanation for what I'm doing. But as the title suggests, it's just don't starve. It's getting late, it'll be dark soon. Hmm. My time playing this game is about to end. I have a torch? Yeah, it's right here. Wow, am I stuck in an island or something? This area seems to be smaller than the previous one I was in. Well, I feel like I'm handling myself pretty well, all things considered. Okay, I guess I want my torch out. I heard that. Maybe I should have lit the beehive on fire. Maybe that would have worked. That's exactly what I'm hearing right now, by the way. The the bees. Man, I'm getting lots of uh, berries. Berries seem to be the easiest way to keep your stomach uh, full. Even capturing bunnies seems to be not all that effective. Still can't do science. Wait, what? Winterometer? Oh, it's because I can check these things. Science machine. Unlock new crafting recipes. Oops. Uh, campfire. Just in time. Well, this is gonna be the final night, so I guess I better start making a review for this game. Uh, so far, I like how it is. It's a game about trying to get make progress with limited resources because you're thrown in a world that uh, is randomly generated so and you want to like progress through the science meter here, here like uh, in the gold nugget the logs and uh, rocks by and you build your weapons quote unquote yeah I need uh, campfires slash torches for the night and you need uh, traps to get some bunnies I guess although for the most part uh, finding cherries every once in a while works let's throw a log in here yeah, okay, so it just drops one at a time. Um, one thing I don't like is that nothing is really happening right now. I guess it might be the game just being generous to me, but I, I would feel like uh, that after some a few days, uh, it'd be more difficult to survive. Like, uh, enemies would start appearing everywhere. Wait, what? I need 12 petals to something to suit the nerves. Okay, so that's what the pedals are for. I guess I shouldn't have eaten them all. Uh, overall, one thing I really don't like though is that the complete lack of music. Well, there is some music every now and then, but for the most part, it's just, I guess it's to make it more atmospheric, but even so. Well, dawn of a new day, but that's gonna be it for this. I, I enjoyed this game. I might play it some other time to see if I can keep surviving yet again, but that'll be it. Yep. Anyway, this was Don't Starve, All's Well at Maxwell. Uh, I feel I missed out on a lot of content in this game, even though I enjoyed what was given to me. Like, for example, the beehive. Uh, I pretty much ran away as soon as I noticed that it was an actual beehive. But I feel like I should have done experimented more with it. 
Uh, I might play this game one more time uh, later. There is a mod for it, this creature. Uh, I'm probably going to be more mods for it. But that's going to be it for today. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a very nice day. Next time, something else.